Hey guys, welcome back to Indoor Reef. I'm here with a fresh cut today, and in this video, we're gonna do the same thing for my Pulsing Xenia. Hey guys, so before we get started, go down to the comments and tell me if you think Xenia can be managed. Tell me if you love it, tell me if you hate it. I might regret asking to hear this, but go on, I wanna know. Right guys, so Xenia. You either love it or you hate it. Personally, I think it looks really good and there's many people who love this and really put it in the tank. Some think you should burn it with fire. You burn with us! Others would say keep it but isolate it. And I've even seen tanks that are completely overrun with it. Personally, I think the best thing is you can enjoy this coral in your tank but you need to manage it. And today I'm going to show you how I do this. If you see behind me in the back there, this Xenia is starting to get quite overrun and it's in danger of affecting the other corals around it, either through shading or overgrowing them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get in the tank and I'm going to take some of this out. Now you have to be really careful when you do this because you don't want lots of loose bits to float all over the tank because this is how it spreads. So I've seen it in the last couple of days actually where it's been breaking off little bits, little bits of polyp and what happens is these blow around the tank, they get wedged somewhere and they start growing and I've fished a few out in the past and this seems to happen as the arms like the branches get longer so today I'm going to trim it back to make sure it doesn't get any worse and get to that stage where it starts doing this. Now the way I like to do this is I'll turn off all the flow while I'm trimming it and then this way it doesn't blow anything around the tank and I'll also do a water change straight afterwards. So the first thing I'm going to do now is make up some water ready for a water change and then we'll get in the tank and actually do the trimming. So water's made, gloves are on, we're almost ready to get started but first let's just prepare the work area because this can get a little bit messy so it's important all the tools are laid out and easy to hand. What I'm going to do is just get in the tank and just have a look at the Xenia and see where I'm going to start. Now you won't believe this but the first bit of Xenia I try and pull out the tank, what happens? The tweezers snap. I've always said I'll be honest with you guys and show you what really happens. I'm not going to try and hide any of it in these videos. <laughs> yep, Homer, that just happened. So here you are, this is not what I hoped would happen. So thankfully the tweezers are actually a 3D printed part and I've got a, a very small cheap 3D printer at home so I'm able to print some more. <laughs> Right then, thanks to the benefit of 3D printing, we've got a brand new set of tweezers. Um, got my gloves on, so let's get going. My plastic tweezers are probably the most important tool I use when I'm tidying up the Xenia. Uh, what I do with these is I use it to grab the Xenia right down by the base and twist it and then almost peel it off the rock. Now, when I've tried using my fingers, I just can't get any kind of grip, even with gloves, whether I try and use my nails, it doesn't matter, I just can't grab it and pull it out. So what the tweezers let me do is get a really good grip on it so that I can tear it off the rock. Now this is a really tedious task, I mean in total it probably took me a little over an hour, I've not shown you it all here because I don't want this to be really boring, you're just watching me struggle, um, but it's not a nice task and it takes quite a while, so if you're going to try and copy this make sure you give yourself plenty of time and even with the tweezers um yeah it, it's not that easy 20 minutes later at this point i'm almost finished so what i'm starting to do here is siphon out um some of the water so this is partially because it's part of my normal water change routine but also this gives me the opportunity to pick up any of the small bits of xenia that might have broken off like I mentioned before, I don't want these floating around the tank and then latching on and starting to grow or you end up with Xenia everywhere. So doing the water change just helps and also I think there can sometimes be some toxins and things that um, are released when you're messing around with uh, different corals and Xenia and I don't want this to affect some of my other corals in the tank. So another little tip for you, if you have been trimming the Xenia like me, 
um, and you've not got anywhere to rehome it to and you're going to be putting it in the bin, don't just throw it in the kitchen bin and uh, think you'll take the bin out in a week or something because this stuff absolutely stinks and if you leave it in there overnight the next day the bin in the kitchen the whole kitchen is just going to smell like the ocean and not in a good way so especially if you live with other people and you want to stay friends i suggest you just take this stuff outside so that's what i'm going to go and do now well that took some doing anyway but um the zinnia is now cut down to size the tweezers are still working to be honest, some of the uh, zinnia will grow back on that rock because I can see really down in the crevices the tiny little bits. I mean, it'll be so difficult if I ever want to completely get rid of it. And I am thinking about this as much as I love it. I mean, you probably tell now between the start of the video and the end, I'm feeling a bit... Uh, because it, it it's just so fiddly and I can't imagine trying to do this in a bigger tank. I mean, I maybe left it even a little bit too long, to be honest, there uh, between doing it last time. But anyway, on top of it now, um, if I do ever want to put another coral in that location, I'm probably going to have to um, leave it a little while so I can see if any bits grow back and kind of snip them out. I mean, I think the tweezers make it a lot, lot easier. Like you saw earlier when I was trying to pince it with my um, fingers and it, you just can't get it. I mean, what you really need to do is get in and really grab it quite firm and then um, also try and scratch it off a little bit. So I guess the worry as well is always that little bits escape and they go and stick somewhere else in the tank and start growing. So I've had this before and I know now whenever I do this type of thing I'm always on the watch out. I mean it can happen at any time with Xenia, especially when it gets long. But hopefully, I mean I siphoned a little bit, you saw that there in the middle, just to try and suck up any bits when I felt I couldn't get them. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, so let me know. I mean, do you love Xenia? Do you hate it? Uh, you seem to be one way or the other when it comes to this stuff. Um, leave a comment. If you've enjoyed this video today, give it a thumbs up and go and subscribe to the channel. When you do this, hit the bell and this will mean you're notified of all new videos that are released so that you don't miss anything. Right, so until next time on Indoor Reef, keep it stable, keep it fun and keep reefing.